tibialis posterior is, does plantar flexion and inversion. So we're looking for the person to try to do a smooth or wave-like motion with their foot instead of doing one and then the other. So can Adam go ahead and do that? Excellent. So what I'm going to be trying to do is again pushing, holding on to the tibia with one hand and my grip going around the midfoot. So I'm going to ask him to bring it up slightly. Okay, don't let me move you. And I'm going to be exerting my force down for five, four, three, two, one. And then when he lets go, you can see that we went from here to there. So that's the type of pressure that I'm putting through this motion. Okay, I'm going to ask him to bring his foot up through that. So plantar flexion and inversion. Good. So there is our concentric. And for the length position, it's going to be the opposite. So I'm going to take him into dorsiflexion and eversion. So one more time, dorsiflexion and eversion to lengthen tibialis posterior. 